Good morning, everybody. I want to show you all something. So, this morning, I am hanging out with my aunt and then a little bit um, of research by the river later because we have to do this. We have to know how these things are um, happening. So, down the road, you'll see the river, um, which I'll show you all later when I um, charge up my phone a little bit because it, it hasn't been charged. So, anyway, I was sitting over and I was looking at these um, abandoned buildings and turns out they are old project homes um, families once lived here but the thing that was significant to me was the numbering right so you have one tr one oak tree planted and I mean it's planted baby it's not going anywhere it's not gonna take up its roots and do anything because it's kind of like our hands you see our hands how our hands it looks like our hands how we're more connected to nature than we think so it's like it's been here for generations right come on right so generations good morning shine so and this it's the extension right so anyway looking at this one one home one two so you'll see five trees you'll see five homes we're in the 10th month. I'm down by the river, right? So I look at the 10th the number as like a, a, a vibration of completion, completed cycles. And that, that's what was coming to me as I was sitting, um, just so happened to be in this area with, with my family at this time and looking across but these are buildings that could act that could actually be used but not just that there's families um um their properties are in there like their lot their little spirits are in there and you literally can feel them um you can feel the vibration the more i step on the land right the more i step on um the 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 coating of the trees y'all don't understand what i'm saying the more that i step on the memory the fingers of the trees and the messages that are in it just like us right just like us these lead they know like they know the lives of the people and, and they tell you like you can literally feel that um here like even having a um handicap um parking space you know this this you know you know you had people who had um disabilities living here this is how you can read your land and so look at the extension again i can't make this up look at the ex extension again of the trees how they came and they they like bam up under like look how much memory they have look how they crack through when it's time to come through, them roots gonna come through anyway. Y'all get what I'm saying here this morning? Look at this. You're telling me this tree <laughs> is not inside of this house and doesn't know. Look at the extension of the root. This is the root. <laughs> Look at that. I can't make this up. So what I'm also what I'm saying, y'all, is that's about resilience too. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The people who lived here, they left that they left those memories behind, but it's still a consciousness. It's still a collective consciousness. Some of the neighbors who've been here for years and years and years, they know them. Um, they know their lives, they know where they are now. But what's inside these homes <laughs> are contained memories, are contained, you know, Things that people once had on another vibration of their lives is what I'm saying. So you you got to be able to connect all of this stuff together when nature call you into something this wide. Now, I don't know where I'm getting ready to go, you know, what group of people 
I'm getting ready to, um, that I'm opening up my energetic fields for in this healing moment. I don't know who they are. I can't see them. I don't know um, what time of day they'll come to me or, or be with me. I'll be with them. But I know that I'll be clear, open, ready, and I'll have an understanding that each person, each community, each um, ethnic group, whoever, whatever, you know, you use to serve your life, I, I'll have an understanding that, you know, each person has different portals and, and containments of their lives somewhere on different dimensions. But it is nature that holds our, you know, secrets as well. And it's time for us to start connecting you know our bodies ourselves with it and we can understand what's really happening around us and um lean into that thing yeah like lean into your life like when you sitting in front of your life and it has messages and numbers um this morning my aunt and i were talking about the significance of this day um you know 10 9 19 you know and then a memory that we had and it vibrated on 999 and we together looked at each other like whoa <laughs> we can't make this up and so from that we created a, a hey how are you and from that we created a vibrational um level um on 999 and 999 so wherever we're going to go with that with those numbers we're creating it together and you know we're going to evolve together on whatever we create um so we sit today and we have um, something that we're going to come create for the community and i'm so excited about it i'm so excited about it because when you see a loved one y'all let me tell y'all something if you see a loved one that have a gift I mean, they really have this, you know, they really have gifts. And you've already created within your life, man, lean in and share a little bit of that with them. If they, you know, if they want to really, really, you know, lean in the thing, in the thing with you, like, y'all do it. So anyway, um, anyway, back to politically speaking correctly, <laughs> this also has a lot to do with my um, research. And so what that means is that um, I'm looking at the way that people in general um, around the world, no matter who they are, no matter what color they are, um, but I'm looking around the world in general at how disasters uh, impact communities and the people within those communities but to narrow it down in regards to my research I am looking at factors that influence the, res the, the resilience of African American women in those particular areas of disaster and so as I began to um, bring my report together uh, because I've been collecting the data and I want to send a special thank you out to all of the women who have participated in this study. You still have time if you have not uh, because the larger my sample population is, the better I can tell our story. And so you still have time. And if you're interested in participating in that study, just send me a message and I'll send you the link or have someone to send you the link. Um, just depends on how you uh, encourage people to reach out. So as I'm walking toward the river, which is where I like to do a lot of my writing, um, to write some of the things that you just heard me speak about, I am um, very, very excited about what I'm getting ready to show the world. And um, it has taken me a while, you know, and one thing I wanna encourage you all to do is pace yourself. Always pace yourself because really, where are we going? What, what race are we in? You know, 
you want to create your best. You want to create something that the world needs. Something that something that's going to vibrate out to another generation. So I know for sure what I have created will vibrate out about 12 years. And <laughs> you know, that's going to that's going to help because the next generation has something that they can build on and they're focused on. Good morning. How are you? So, okay, I'm going to um, go over this levy, you all, and, you know, say my prayer, sit in meditation, and um, see what comes next. Okay. But, yes, if you want to participate, and you, you know, or you or another African-American woman, you know, have experienced a disaster, um, and you live in New Orleans, Louisiana, then go ahead and inbox me. Are um, yeah, okay. <laughs>